The scorekeeper, just just uh, come to the front show everyone who you are. This is our scorekeeper, Alex. Um, Alex, I think he works in banking, so he got this job. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to ask a prompt, and the boys are going to give their response. Now, boys, remember, you know, be honest when you're saying whether you think it's a mitzvah or a shanda, but also keep in mind that you're trying to win the heart of my sister. And... Guess what? My dad is here too. So, so remember to keep that in mind as well, okay? We want to keep this. Is that part of the game that we have to get your father's blessing to go on a date with your sister? My dad will be making a cameo at the end, I'm sure. It is the father single. Okay, uh, moving on. Um, also, boys, please remember to share the microphone, okay? Sharing is, is a mitzvah. Um, all right, I think I think we just get into it. Are we ready, crowd? And I just want to say that it is hard to follow Kosha Dills, but I promise I won't rap. That might be a Shonda, and he did my show before. All right, Julia, we're gonna find you somebody. Um, I just want us to all get to know the, the panel first, so we're gonna say their names, and they all know that they're supposed to share like a recent mitzvah or Shonda situation that happened, so we can get to know them a little bit. So. Casey, I think you're ready. Why don't you go first? Okay. Uh, all right. This is for uh, Rabbi Arye right here. The tallest Jew in the world. I, I Second date, she asked me to drive her to LAX. Oh. Which I did. But all then, right, Alex, Alex, give okay. me a mitzvah point. Julia loves being But then at the end, LAX. right before she left my car, I said, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, gosh. Julia, is that a mitzvah for Shonda? And, and, and was this you in the car? It unfortunately, was not me. <laughs> um, I think it's a mitzvah, and it's okay to have a second guess, so I think that's okay. Thank you. You did it. Okay. All right. Mitzvah Mitz for honesty. Well, mitzvah for Casey. All right, Casey, pass the mic along to Avery, our second contestant. Wow. I'm still reeling from the fact that you drove her to the airport and then broke up with her. <laughs> I just want to say I'm flying back to New York tonight, so Casey, I'm open. If you want to give me a ride, my dad is going to, but he's working so hard. I am he, a mensch. He's a mensch. Oh, and the winner tonight, or today, will be the mensch and get the game and get to go on a date with Julia, maybe? We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if my dad approves. <laughs> All right, Avery. Okay, well, uh, early on, in a relationship I had recently, it was uh, probably three months in, I thought things were going well and I was booking flights for Thanksgiving. And so three months into the relationship, I invited her to come to Thanksgiving with my family. All right, is that a mitzvah? I think that's sweet. Julia, what do you think? Um, I think that's a mitzvah, I think. Yeah, not, not everyone has a place to go for Thanksgiving. So I, I think that's really nice. And even if the relationship is going nowhere, at least she got turkey, right? Okay, Jonathan, your turn. So I, I have to admit that this is actually my second comedy Jewish, kind of Jewish dating show. Okay. I guess I'm like, you know, being invited to all of them in LA, but I was on another one called- Wait, uh, sorry, Julia, is that a flex? Is that a mitzvah or a shanda? It's a I mean, I don't think you should do more than three. <laughs> Well, keep that neutral for now. So, All right. Well, Let's so keep I, it moving, Jonathan. What, yeah, what? I mean, maybe yeah. this will be the last one of your life. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that it was called Love Isn't Blind. It's like a kind of a feminist dating we're, show. We're not promoting other no, shows I know, right now. I know that. I know that. <laughs> but the uh, the bachelorette on the show was not Jewish, so it's a mitzvah or shanda. Oh. And my mom was called during the show okay. on the phone. So. Uh, Julia? This is tricky because I, I don't know your values and your family. <laughs> Um, Shonda. This feels tricky to me. I mean, it's 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 a mitzvah for spreading. I'm gonna say Shonda because we should just be talking about my show. Yeah. Right. I never said I'm a mensch. Okay, let's move it on to Josh. You got a Shonda point, Jonathan. I'm sorry, but but he's a big fan of the game. Um, all right. Now I don't think Josh knows what we're doing here, but he's gonna participate. Give it up for Josh. Okay. Okay, could you share a recent, um, you know, you saw yeah. what they did, yeah. I, yeah, I don't really have much date chat, but I was uh, I was recently going down an escalator to the subway in Tokyo, 
and there was a girl at the bottom who had her shoelace stuck in the escalator and all the people were just going down the escalator just kind of like bumping into her and then just going going round um, I, as I was coming up to her I kind of saw it I bent down and just ripped her shoelace out of the escalator a hero. you're a hero is that heroic I think it is I didn't know what he was saying when he ripped something so <laughs> but I think that is a mitzvah you're you, that was a heroic you saved her life but I didn't stop to say hello, and then I saw 200 yen on the floor and just picked it up and took it home with me. Oh, okay, so, I mean, <laughs> maybe a Shonda. No, but saving a life is saving saving a universe or a world. Of I was feeling really good about my chances up here until Josh started talking. The, the accent, that, you know, Josh was... The accent. Josh, that was not on theme, I have to say, but we all like your accent, so we're not going to take away points, okay? All right, now Julia, why don't you share one? I know you have one prepared. All, all of us need to get to know our bachelorette. This one's a little revealing, fellas. <laughs> You'll really understand me, I think. Um, I went on a date recently and I found out his birthday. <laughs> did you ask him his birthday or did he tell you? Great I question. don't remember. It just came up. It came up naturally and then I saw that we weren't compatible so I ended it. Oh. oh. What did you use to find out that you weren't compatible? Uh, the app called The Pattern. <laughs> and you know, I think we're just saving each other both a lot of time. So I think it was helpful. Uh, I, it's certainly, it's good to um, end something if it's not going to work out, but also invading privacy <laughs> is definitely a Shonda in my book. So, CIA. Julia's the bachelorette, so she doesn't that she doesn't lose oh, any points. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. I, she I thought I meant Charles also. All right, we're gonna move into some prompts. So the premise of the game, Mitzvah or Shonda, um, you read a prompt and then you weigh in. So are we ready? I'm schwitzing. Okay. That's a Shonda. I mean, I can't even see, but we're doing this. Honestly, Alex, Mitzvah point for all of us for just being here in the in the heat, you know? Okay, you want to meet a nice Jewish girl. So you ask your parents to pay for singles events and premium dating apps for you. Is that a mitzvah or a shonda? I'm in a tough situation because I'm the youngest of four and my oldest brother has many times offered to pay for my dating subscription. We've all been there, we've all been there. My brother. Oh, Huey? No, Huey? not Huey. <laughs> Huey would, but I'm really talking about my oldest brother, Isaac. Um, and I had to say no. So I'm gonna go with the Sean. Wow, boundaries. Okay. Boundaries. Yeah. Um, Jonathan. I, I think if you need to get your parents involved in your dating life by paying for a dating app subscription, there's like bigger problems that need to get settled. Okay, I feel like we must Shonda. be triggering the audience right now because I'm sure some of you have like hinge connected to your parents' credit card. You don't need to come forward. It's not that kind of show. Um, all right, Josh, I feel like you have opinions. My mum actually signs up of her own accord and then sends me the login details. Uh, and I don't disagree with my mother, so I'm, I'm going to say Mitzvah. Well, actually, he loves his mother. <laughs> uh, Casey, you haven't weighed in here. <laughs> uh, remind me of the question. <laughs> your parents are paying for you to boost yourself on Oh, page. it's totally Mitzvah. <laughs> I love help. <laughs> All right, now, I mean... We all have opinions, we're Jewish, most of us. If you're not, you can have opinions too. But the biggest, Julia, it matters what you think. So let's be concise. How do you think we met people in the shtetl? Our mothers. <laughs> your mothers. All right, Julia, oh, yeah. Well, but where does it end? Because is your mother paying for the date too? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, I mean, our dad is here right now. I know, so. my mother is here too. And I, honestly, I think she'd be happy to pay for my dates, but. Julia, uh, what do you think? Um, I kind of want to say a Shonda, um, just for my own sake, like I, I think I want someone to be in control of their life, Ooh. but I do support people's moms being involved. They have to pay for their own app, but you can go over for Thanksgiving. I think that's the happy medium here. Um, so I'm looking pretty good. <laughs> So I'm thinking that um, Casey gets a gets a Shonda point, and then do we have a favorite answer? Oh, Jonathan, you want to say something else? No. No. Okay. Julia, pick a favorite. Who gets the mitzvah point? I know it's like not how the game might be played, but I did love Casey's answer. You oh. really made me rethink it. So we can get two Shonda points. <laughs> okay. So mitzvah and Shonda for Casey. I mean, listen. In relationships, you're not always going to agree, right? 
I mean, I'm not in one, I don't know, but um, I think that's how it works. Okay, uh, let's do another one. Let's, we're gonna make it quick. Uh, you aren't, okay, you aren't ready to meet our family, even though you already did, but we still need to vet you. Our dad knows how to analyze handwriting. So Julia gets writing samples from you and sends them to him. He reports back, is that a mitzvah or a shanda? How is she getting the writing samples? <laughs> Just, she will. She's very persuasive. J Julie, I think on a first date, that's a lot to ask a guy. I'm just gonna put that out there. How do you even bring that up? What's the, you know, what's the, the angle to get a, a guy to give a writing sample? Um, I usually tell them that my dad has that skill. Oh, so it's it's an honest, you know. Yeah, I'm all about honest assessment. communication, and usually people are really excited about it. Okay, I think we stumped the panel. I, I think, oh, no, Josh has, Josh, Josh has thoughts. I'm illiterate. <laughs> I mean, we haven't seen you write. Jonathan, uh, Casey, do you have thoughts? Okay. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have thoughts on this one. I mean, for me, it'll depend on what your father says after he reads my love note to you. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I think mitzvah, mitzvah for, mitzvah for Avery. I'm gonna, yeah. Yeah, no one should have anything to hide. Like, it shouldn't be a scary thing, you know? Right? Like, if you're a good person, then everything should be great. All right, we're going to do, I think, one more. Um, you are on dating apps, and you want to meet your Basharit, but you slightly exaggerate your height to increase your chances. <laughs> the crowd doesn't like that. Um, <laughs> like an inch, two, three. Casey, you wanna, okay. Speaking as a short king, let me just say, I always put six foot and then they're surprised when they see me. <laughs> so I always say mitzvah. You know, marriage is gonna be about lies, right, sir? <laughs> so let's start off on the right page. <laughs> it's a mitzvah. Okay. It's a mitzvah. It, honestly, thank you for sharing your truth. Thank you. Um, uh, John here you go. I mean, I was told today while we were setting up the stage that I was one of the tall Jews. <laughs> and it was one of the most proud moments of my life, I have to say. So do you feel like it's wrong that he's lying and maybe stealing girls from you on the apps? You can have them. <laughs> I mean, I, I think miss the point for Avery, just for, for sharing. Yeah. Um, Jonathan. I think it's, I think it's okay. I think okay. it's reasonable. Because okay. ultimately the photos you show are going to be like, your best photos. Yeah. Not, you're not like hanging out in a pool every day and skydiving every day. So. Okay. I think he says it's, it's a, a mitzvah. It's a neutral mitzvah. It's a, a mitzvah. It's a white light. All right, Josh, do you have an opinion here? I've definitely done this before, but uh, he's done it. I feel like honesty is. is but the your best bun part. makes you taller, Josh. Oh, my bun. <laughs> well, exactly. So I, since I grew my hair out, I've stopped doing it. But. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Shanda because I, I feel like you know, honest, honesty is the best part. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, now, Julia, you pick a winner of the round and tell us what you think. Um, a winner of the round. I mean, obviously Avery. I mean, I think Avery has kind of the. <laughs> I, I liked Avery's answer. I I kind of assume that everyone's lying a little on the app, so. <laughs> I'm going to ask Alex to tally this up, and while he's tallying, we're going to do a rapid fire that involves my dad, and then he will just bless the winner. Um, you, oh, you already have them. Oh, my gosh. All right. I want everyone to hold this up because we just had to ask this since our dad is here. Oops, sorry. Um, you started dating Julia two weeks ago, and she... Oh, sorry, different one. Okay. Oh, you're on a first date. Wait, did I not write this down? Okay. Our dad shows up at her apartment while you're there for the first time with a pie that he baked and stays for two hours. Miss for Shonda, hold it up while I look at the winners. <laughs> is he there to fix something? Like, is he just always, hanging out? Always, always everything. Fixing, hanging, baking, making calls. Is he forcing me to write a note so he can analyze my handwriting? That will happen. It's a mitzvah. <laughs> All right, so we are going, oh, Jonathan, do you want to say something? Our dad's here, so be nice. Um, I think we're going to announce um, the one who will not be going on a date with Julia, and um, that is Jonathan. I'm so sorry. 
You're the menace. Uh, next up is um, Casey. You're not going on a date with our sis my sister. I'm so sorry. Um, Josh, you were really close, but the accent isn't getting you to the uh, number one spot. So the winner is Avery. next to the stage and Avery I want you to take this game and play it with my sister and let her win okay okay I'll let her win is that a mitzvah or a shanda you play a game and you let her win it feels like this will never be resolved because it's our religion and that's the game everybody give a round of applause to the bachelors they did such a good job my brave sister who brought me out here to New to LA from New York and um that's it when I say mitzvah you say shanda mitzvah Let's give it up for Danielle and Ms. Lashonda. Come on, how fun was that? I'm a little biased because my brother won. Maybe. Thank you so much for that. He's, you know, he's a wonderful guy. I can't say enough wonderful things about my brother. My parents are here. That's a mitzvah to have watch your son win the mitzvah Ashanda game for my parents. So let's give it up for mitzvah Ashanda and Danielle. One more time. Thank you so much. We are about to invite some amazing, amazing.